how can you have a 10 kilowatt array on an 8 kilowatt inverter? Or in other words, a DC to AC ratio of 1.25. Well, for inverters that have maximum power point tracking, one way they can handle the excess power is to utilize the IV curve and then manipulate the voltage of the array to match its power rating. First, it's important to understand the IV curve, which I won't cover here, I have done that in other videos. Second is to understand that inverters have the ability to track the maximum power point by several different methods, which include manipulating the voltage of the array to get to a certain point along the IV curve. So let's say you have a 10 kilowatt array on a bright, cold, sunny day connected to an inverter with MPPT capability. Well, the inverter will move away from the maximum power point voltage, noted as VMP, until the power matches the inverter output. Here you can see the inverter manipulating the voltage higher than the maximum power point until it reaches 8 kilowatts to match the inverter output. Some inverters have the capability to derate its power output. So let's say you derate the inverter to an output of 5 kilowatts. Well then the inverter can again manipulate the array voltage until it meets its power target. Now although you may have a 10 kilowatt array on its best day, that power won't always be there, for example, on a cloudy day. In this case, let's say you only have five kilowatts available at the array and you haven't derated the inverter. Then the inverter will try to track to the maximum power point in order to maximize production to get as close to eight kilowatts as possible. And that's a quick explanation on how inverters can have more power connected to it than its output rating.